Hello my dear students. So today I will start with question number 5. 5, 6, 7. These three sums I will show you how to solve. So I think the previous whatever I have taught you it's everything is clear to you how to find out the area of trapezium, rhombus or this type of polygons. Clear? So let's start with question number 5 now. Here this is a school signboard is given to you. Two questions are there. What is the area of the signboard? And second question if the four such signboards are cut from the rectangular metal sheet 350 centimeter long and 320 centimeter wide. Wide means breadth. What will be the area of the metal left over? So let's move one by one. First you have to find out the area of the signboard. Clear? Now see this signboard it is a pentagonal. Clear or not? So what you have to do? First you have to make this pentagonal shaped signboard into two different polygons. Clear? According to your comfortable way how many polygons you can make. So and here this one it is not level. Clear? So to make the solution easier what you will do you first you label this pentagonal signboard so here let's see i have it has started from here this is the figure clear i have made it in this way i have labeled the pentagonal shape a b c d okay f clear now what you will do first as you make into two different polygons so what I have done, I have joined these two B and F. After joining these two points, what you have got? B, C, D, F, it is a rectangle and A, B, F, it is a triangle. Clear? Now, here is measurement given C, D is 76 centimeter. So if C, v, C, D is 76, then automatically B, F will be also 76 and B, C is given 38. If B, C 38, then FD also 38 clear or not and this total height total height of this pentagon is given 76 centimeter clear got it now so if you have to find out the area of the rectangle BFDC its formula is length into breadth so length is given to you breadth is given to you you find out the area next you have to find out the area of the triangle ABF half into b into h so b b means base base you know it is 76 that means bf bf is the base so bf is 76 centimeter now height height means you have to find out this height height of the triangle now total height is given 76 centimeter then what will be the height of this triangle 76 minus 38 that means bc 38 so df also 38 so 76 minus 38 what you will get 38 that means this height is 38 centimeter clear so you have got here base also height also find out the area of the triangle clear 1444 square centimeter now you join both the areas join both the areas you will get the total area of the pentagonal signboard clear students how to find out next question is given you have to make four such signboards from a rectangular sheet suppose this is a rectangular sheet whose whose length and breadth is given to you 350 and 320 respectively from this rectangular metal sheet you have to Make four sunboards. Clear? So now according to question it is there. This means after making four signboards from this rectangular metal sheet some portion of sheet will be left over. You have to find out the area of that portion of the sheet. Clear? Which will be left over. Got it? So first to find out the area of the rectangular metal sheet length into breadth. Got it? Next, area of one signboard already you have found out 4332. Then 
then area of four sign boards will be what multiply after multiplying now what you have to find out the portion of metal sheet left over area of the portion of metal sheet left over clear so from this total area of the rectangular metal sheet if you deduct this one area of four sign boards then whatever will be left over it will be the required answer clear or not students understood how to find out this type of sums check it out clear or not next question is given from your book question number 6 and question number 7 mcq you have to find out the total area of this figure here four options are there out of these four options which one will be correct you have to find out now this is one hexagon clear or not where all sides are given 8 cm now in this question i showed you from the hexagon how to find out the area same way you find out the area of this hexagon now this is one polygon you have to make this polygon into two different polygons now here if you you can join from here also or you can if you join this portion then it is a rectangle and this one you will get one trapezium then you will find out both the areas separately then after all the three areas you will join or you can join instead of joining this one you can join this portion also clear then you will get this a b here you give one any name and e this portion is a rectangle and it is a triangle then you find out the area of rectangle and area of triangle then all the three areas you will join you can do any way you can make the parts of this polygon in this two different way clear or not understood or not so let's let's see here i have solved in this rectangle rectangle and triangle form so after finding this area of this hexagon first find out the area of this rectangle length and breadth it's 10 cm ac ab is 10 cm so if you make join these two and give this one name as m then em also will be 10 cm yes or no and ae it is the breadth 8 cm so bm will be also 8 cm clear so length and breadth you will get you find out the area next you move for triangle find out the area of the triangle half into base into altitude this dm is the altitude height clear and this cm is the base cm means what total this height is 8 cm ae that means mb is also 8 cm and cb is given to you 3 cm then what will be cm 8 minus 3 5 cm so base will be 5 cm and height height is md total height is for total length is 14 em is means ed is 14 em is 10 then what will be md 14 minus 10 that means 4 cm so height you will get 4 cm then you find out the area of the triangle then all the three areas you join then you get total area of this polygon okay this shape uh, next you choose which one option will be correct got it next question is given question number 7 here the given it is a you have one four congruent trapeziums are there these are the four congruent trapezium congruent means what same congruency you know no congruent means what congruent it is same for all sides also all the sides are same arrange around the shaded figure what is the area of the shaded figure this is a square shape shaded figure you have to find out the area of this portion and as the four trapeziums are congruent so if one side is 10 cm then all the sides will be 10 cm clear and this distance is given 2 cm so first as you have to find out the area of this portion 
square so you you have to find out the area of side one means sorry uh, length of one side clear if you get the length of one side of the square then you have to then you will be able to find out the area of the square now here you see ab is given 10 cm so after getting 10 cm now ef means one side ef or F, fg or gh or he any one side you find out what will be it will be 10 as this distance is given 2 cm that means it is from all side it is 2 cm so its length also 2 cm and breadth also 2 cm so then what will be the side this ef 10 minus 2 minus 2 length and breadth if you deduct then what you will get 6 cm that means one side of the square you are getting 6 cm clear or not understood how i have found out ef side because this distance is given 2 cm from all side it is 2 cm distance so it is length also 2 cm breadth also 2 cm so one one you will consider then you are getting 6 cm then what will be the area of the square a square formula you know side square put the value find out it will be 36 square centimeter that means your option number b will be correct so these are the sums uh, 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 sums you have to solve in this way polygon clear so from your exercise 16b i have done all this solve all those sums in your copy systematic way i think it is clear to you do by yourself students repeatedly i am telling you do by yourself practice the formula otherwise you won't be able to find out clear in the next video i will show some additional sums clear so do practice students and complete your work